Okay, so today is an exciting day. Why, you ask? Because we're finally adding a new fish to the aquarium. So that's good, that's awesome. Except it's been freezing rain, so the entire car is covered in ice. So I have to scrape that off, and then we'll go get it. Let's go get it. We got it. Came from New Dawn, New Dawn Aquaculture out of Edmonton. Let's see if we can focus. It's not, doesn't want to focus. It doesn't want to focus, but that's okay. Cause we got it. So let's get this home acclimating in the tank and have a great morning. Okay, so we braved the freezing rain and we made it back with our new fish from New Dawn Aquaculture. These guys are amazing. Um, their customer service is really second to none. They bring in captive bred fish, aquacultured coral. So if you're in Canada and you want to make as little impact on the ocean as possible, New Dawn Aquaculture. And this video is definitely not sponsored by these guys. I just, I use them. This is the second time I've ordered fish from them. Um, and they're amazing. So I just wanted to sort of prop them up and let you guys know how great they are. So if you're looking for a captive red fish, aquacultured corals, New Dawn Aquaculture, absolutely. Anyway, let's talk about what I ordered. So I ordered, and let's open it up and check it out. I ordered a captive bred Biota Court Jester Gobi. With this tank, I didn't want fish that were going to outgrow it. I want to get small nano fish that I could keep in here and I won't have an excuse to get a bigger aquarium. Because I go, oh, well, you know, I'll get an aquarium that's bigger later and then we're good. I can put this yellow tank in my 15 gallon cube. It's fine. I'm gonna upgrade, right? No, not this time. Not this time. This time I'm going nano fish. So anyway, let's open this up. Let's open it up. Let's open it up. So I made sure this time to pick it up at the FedEx Depot. I had a bit of a mishap last time where FedEx delivered the package 28 hours too late. Anyway, that fish didn't quite make it, but that's okay. Um, well, I mean, it's not okay, but New Dawn sent me a replacement. I love this handy dandy handle. That makes life easy. We got a couple heat packs, still very warm. And Court Jester Gobi. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but it's alive, swimming, and well. So we'll check the water temperature here um, and get it acclimating. Honestly, it feels really warm, but let's get it acclimating and put it in the tank. So as you can see, it came in at 1.025 at 78 degrees, which is incredible. It's actually bang on what I keep my tank at, 78 with uh, 1.025. So I'm just, actually, I'm just gonna put it right in the aquarium because I don't want it sitting in this bag water for too long and have ammonia build up. So I'm just gonna put it right in there. to see the little guy and it's super out of focus but it's already super active and it's only been in there maybe 20 minutes and he's already picking at the rocks and picking at the sand and eating algae so I've got high hopes for this little court jester goby anyway uh, I guess we'll do an update in another video when he's a little less shy and not hiding in the back. But thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.
if you like this video, like, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff, and we'll do an update on the Gobi and the aquarium in the next couple days. All right, later.